Hello there. Once again, we are starting, I think this is the third video in a row, by updating the subscriber plaque because we have hit now, as of recording this video, again, I will put another subscriber count, 2.6. At some point, we're going to have to stop counting the hundreds and just stick with counting the thousands. That's much better. But as you can see by my clone wall, I don't think it's ever looked this empty. I'm pretty sure when I started building this, we had more than one, two, three, four, five, six clone troopers on it. And that is because they are all on my desk. Well, at least most of them. A few of the 332nd and 501st duplicates I haven't included. But we've got a base plate with almost a full platoon of random legions of clone troopers, most of which are custom. So if you see any you like, I'll leave a video on the end of the screen for you to check out. And then we also have this, I guess it's almost a platoon as well, of different alien molded headpieces, which someone asked if I could do a short. So once this video is done, I will be covering most of these in a short, probably not including the droids and the Porg, for instance, but keep your eyes out for that short. And what I'm going to spend the next couple minutes doing is swapping the heads over, taking off the clone heads and helmets, and putting some of the unique molded alien heads onto the clone trooper figures inspired by, of course, the brand new Akbar clone trooper that not only we get in Jedi Bob Shuttle, we've seen so many of these in the full trailer for Rebuild of the Galaxy, which if you haven't seen, there are a ton of these. It works as a clone trooper. They have cloned Akbar, and there's a really funny scene of a load of them just repeating it's a trap, of course, the iconic words from Akbar's mouth. Before we swap the heads around, I think it'll actually be a good idea to take a look at some of the aliens we've got here because I don't think I've got a long enough minute for a short to cover all of them. So like I said, I'll be leaving out the droids and I'll probably also leave out, hopefully I don't leave out Tarnway. <laughs> but I'll probably leave out all of the cantina folk because they will probably go back in the modular after this video. But we have quite a few different Yodas. We've got the original trilogy Yoda. We've got Clone Wars style Yoda. We've got the High Republic style Yoda. And we've got Baby Yoda, AKA Grogu. Not a Yoda, but still has that similar shape. We don't have a Yaddle, which I really would love to see a Yaddle mold. It's something that we need a Star Wars CMF for, and I get they can't do it with figures, but I'll be completely honest, if they charged us a little more, say double, six, seven pound for a minifigure with a little display scene, I still have my Felucia from my Order 66 building mock video where I built mocks, and then the next mock was twice as big as this, all the way up to 16 times as big as this, and this is a six by six, so they get pretty quick, pretty quick quickly but something like this included with perhaps a few less flowers and other smaller pieces would look really really cool with some of the figures we're yet to get for instance Yaddle could come with one of the Jedi High Council seats which I think would be great and loads of people would then be collecting each of these figures for that certain scene and then can of course build armies I guess of minifigures like Yaddle and we could get another Padme we could get a whole Padme CMF. And you can see Grievous is on this list. Grievous and Grogu will not connect to the usual head piece. So I actually have two pieces here that will enable me to pop these studs on the top of the minifigure neck because it is the same size as a stud connector. And then I can put Grogu's head on this micro pin and Grievous's head will clip to this bar element. So I thought of nearly everything. I hope there's no surprises in this. And we've got a few of the, I guess, less common characters like Zuckus here. Akbar isn't too common though. Now I have an Admiral Akbar head. This is the old head, not the new patent head. I've then taken Lieutenant Beta, I think their name is, from last year's Ghost set. And that is the head print I'm using for my Akbar clone, which I should probably swap that around. But Akbar is going on to Commander Cody. I've tried to color match a few of these. So you can see Bosk is in his yellow. It's a lighter yellow suit, but I have paired that up with Bly, who is also in yellow. So I've just swapped all of the heads onto the clone trooper bodies. Some of these figures 
are amazing. They really, really are awesome. I don't really know how to say it, so I think we'll just get straight into taking a look. I actually quite like how LEGO have done this for Rebuild the Galaxy now, because if you take a look, there are some really, really cool combinations on this board. I think to shout out a few, I really like Momo Nadon's head, the Ithorian at the back, because it sticks out and just looks really cool. Zeb Aurelius on this custom Arc Trooper 501st hard case, I do believe, looks really cool and just makes me want a Jaro to pull custom minifigure all that much more. We've got a few like Akbar on Cody's torso does look quite cool. And I'd like to see, as Akbar is all of the clone troopers in Rebuild the Galaxy, I'd like to see some sort of commander captain. I think that would be really, really cool. I also like how Zuckus's head has molded to the Anaxis Trooper. I think that one's quite nice. And I don't know if you got to take a look at Akbar with it in focus. So we'll just show that off one more time. I think it's also the dual molded arms make that look really cool and some of the arm printing. Just all of these are generally amazing. And of course, Captain Rex, or in this case, Captain Binks does look really, really just really, really cool. But then again, there is that Jar Jar bias for that minifigure. So I will take you through these one at a time, starting off with the Yodas. These are all sat backwards because we've got the short legs. Well, we don't have the short legs for the clone troopers. You can see better from behind. These three are sat down. And then we've also got Wicket's clone trooper is also on their knees so that they're at that lower height. Starting off with the Yodas, we have the High Republic Yoda in the plain phase two costume, outfit, gear, clone trooper armor is probably the better word for it. And then we have this 2003 Clone Wars clone for this younger animated looking Yoda from the Young Jedi Adventures. And then Clone Wars Yoda is in the green airborne, which does look really cool. Of course, the 501st looks a bit funny with Grogu's head on, but I feel like it gets the point across. And then over to Grievous. I think Grievous' head works really well on the minifigure. Comparing this to how it's meant to be on the droid body, I think it does work well. Stitch, I mean, this custom Nubs minifigure looks good on the uh, Jump Trooper, the Jet Trooper, the Jump the 501st Jetpack clone, and we've of course got Jar Jar on Captain Rex's torso. This is definitely one of my favorites of the bunch. We then have a custom walled minifigure on the 187th, which there's not really anything special about it. We have Tarnway on the Commando, which if you've watched Bad Batch, I think was a combination that needed to happen. The Wolfpack turn into Wookiees. Not only are they close, but you've also got the wolf fur printing on gray for the wolf pack troopers which works well with the wookies fur of course i'm using that snowy chewbacca it's my favorite of the bunch and moving on to the bounty hunters they all look pretty cool there's some similar color themes and of course we had to use the gunner in here as well and then for wicket i've actually used the kashik trooper could have used it for the wookies i guess but i feel like the camo works well with the Ewoks. And when I was de-heading all of these clones, I didn't actually have any problem with the custom helmets. I don't know if it'll, there we go, it still works now. The heads don't stick in the helmets. The only one I had a problem with was I think this 501st clone, and this is official Lego here. So I think we can keep that one between you and me because Lego doesn't tend to have these problems and we can't be having Lego looking worse than a few cheap customs in a video, can we? But I have already at least tried to show off the Mon Calamari Cody, the Admiral Cody bar. I don't really know if we should try to be combining names out of these. C-3PO on the 13th Legion Commander does look really, really cool. And I'd love to see a few more of these. I might have already said this. I'd love to see a few more alien clone troopers. If we could get a battle pack of four clone troopers and then four aliens that we haven't seen. I don't think many people will be complaining. As long as they come with a clone head to substitute it for, we're then getting new aliens to put elsewhere on custom figures in Star Wars. And I think that is quite a decent battle pack idea, just as long as we don't get four Akbar heads on plain phase twos. The Zebarellius head does work well and Maz Kanata's, I 
think it works quite well. I'm not really too sure, but I guess it's the furthest from the clone torso and legs we've got. I really like the droid heads. And in the middle, you can see that's my custom mini figure scale, 145 scale R2 D2, which the head is the same size as BB-8 and the Porg. The Porg is really adorable. And I've used that 330 second helmet to of course go with the colors on the Porg's head. On the back row, we've got our Master Builder series figs. We've got the Sand People, we've got the Bith, we've got KB, we've got the Ithorian, we've got Ponda Baba, we have the Trandoshan, we have, I knew I was gonna forget one of their names, and Garandun. I mean, I've not exactly named them all, but at least of species, and I always forget one figure, but they do look pretty cool. I realized when I was de-heading them that a lot of these do have the regular mini figure heads with hair accessories. I thought they were all molded heads, but it makes sense, especially for someone like Cape who uses the bat ears, which has appeared at least in Batman. I know that from the Lego Batman games. But if you don't have many of these specialty molds, and there is a few like Christmas variants and just different printed that I haven't included in this video, definitely give it a go with Ahsoka, with Hera, with who else have we got here? We get a load of regular minifigure heads that have a new head piece like Ki Adi Mundi. We've got Maul Savage and all the Dathomirians. We've also got some of the Young Jedi Adventures characters and there's probably enough to fill out the gaps in your clone armies and if you do definitely share your images over on YouTube, Instagram and just tag me so I can see some of your creations. I'm really getting excited for this Rebuild the Galaxy. I know it's an animated kid show but something as trivial as Akbar's head on a clone trooper torso and legs it's just really funny and this is exactly what I've been talking about Lego Star Wars has been missing recently or at least feeling like it's been missing. Because we did get a few different funny, not funny looking characters but fun ideas such as that sandy beach suited Vader who did end up coming in the advent I do believe. The only advent I missed out on and I also missed out on a phase one clone trooper. I can't say I regret not getting it because I definitely prefer the Guardians of the Galaxy advent, but I will be reviewing the Star Wars advent this year. Hopefully by September 2nd, there should be a video up, unless I find it early, in which case it could be even sooner than that. But getting something like this in actual Lego form in a set, Jedi Bob Starfighter, the Dark Millennium Falcon, and then the X-Wing TIE Fighter or the Wing Swap. Hopefully that doesn't end when Rebuild the Galaxy has come and gone. And I'm not talking about a season two because it's a lot funner if it's just a one-off show. But with other ships, we could have got that with the Fang Fighter and Ty, Shin Hati Starfighter and the E-Wing. Perhaps they would have to sacrifice a little bit of detail, but for a play feature where you can actually swap the wings, it's going to be really, really fun. And thank you so much for making it to the end of another video. And thank you for everyone who has subscribed. By the time if this video goes out, if we're on 2.7, I'll change that in tomorrow's video, but thank you so much for all of the support. I'm really enjoying making all these videos, so check out all the others on screen now, and may the bricks be with you always.